column. So this one, we're going to use our fine liner here. We're going to start off in this first section and we're going to divide it into four separate lines. So there's one line, I've broken it into two. I'm now going to break that into two more. And those are all the lines I'm going to draw there. This next one, I'm going to double the density of those lines. So between here and here, I'm going to draw a line. And here, I'm going to draw a line. Between here and here, I draw a line. So what you can see is I'm just doubling up on the intensity as I draw these lines down. And this last one right here. So we're going to keep that going all the way down. I'm now going to half it through here. And you're just going to get more and more practice in developing controlled and very disciplined lines. And now what's happening is you're taking control and your lines aren't wandering. So you're also developing your eye, which is a necessary thing for learning how to draw well and accurately. And if you goof up, no worries. At least you're practicing, at least you're doing. Now I'm getting a little bit more dense, so I'm gonna just pay really close attention to those lines. And I'm looking at all of those lines there. And oops, I think I missed a halfway point there, but we're gonna keep going halfway. So as you can see, what's happening is this region of that column is now getting darker. So halfway and I made a little goof there, but I don't worry about it. I'm going to keep on going. The other thing that's really key is starting and stopping your line exactly where the end of that region starts and where it stops. So halfway in between and all the way down. And then when I get to the next section, it's going to be very difficult to go halfway. So I'm just going to just increase the density and try to do it evenly so that when I get to the bottom of the page, I can end up with basically a, a black region, a nice dark region, like so. So you can tell I've had a little bit of coffee, nice little wiggle in my line. And now I'm just going to get darker and we're, we're going to go halfway. And I can see now that I'm just going to, in order to make this one darker than the one above it, I'm really going to have to get a lot more dense. So that's what we're doing there. And then the next square will be completely black as much as you possibly can. And this is all with the exact same pencil that we're using. I'm going to take away that white space there. And that's going to create a nice gradation of hatching using just one tool. So carry on for all of that one. This next one here, we're going to take um, our two H lines and we're going to go from very thin, this one will be 2H, and if you want to break this guy up into three, using our trick, because we're going to use three different pencils, there's our third, and I'm just going to draw that straight across to that other diagonal, and you're guaranteed to have a third. So there's my thirds. In this region, I'm going to take my 2H pencil, and as I go down, I'm going to try to make it as dark as I can so that when I end up here, I'm getting the most out of that pencil in terms of its darkness. So nice and close lines because what you're doing is you're gaining control. So light here, and your pencil should be good and sharp. And as you go down, you're going to make it thicker and darker. And what you're going to find with that 2 H lead is it's very different than your HB lead or your H or your B, whichever one you choose, but within that range. So here I'm going to, once again, start off light and I'm gonna put more pressure on my pencil as I go through each region and try to get a nice gradual line that goes from thin to thick or light to dark. And again, thin or light, you're taking, you're basically just brushing the, the paper there and as you get darker, through there. And then your next one will be a 6B. And I realize I have to really keep these pencils sharp. So I'm going to make sure they're always sharpened. A nice tip on that because then you can get more of that pencil. So here's my 6B. 
and it is so soft, I barely even have to touch the paper and I get a dark line out of it. And I can see just how much I can get out of that as I get darker. So what you're gonna see at the end of this is across this region here, it's gonna be fairly light in terms of the darkness. <laughs> and by the time you get over to here, it, it, you get a lot of really great black out of that. In this column over here, you can take now the pencil that you love and you're going to create some hatching. And um, two ways of doing this, but I'm going to use here, I'll use the 2H pencil. No, I'm gonna use the HB. Um, what you what you'll want out here is a nice gradual hatching. So again, here's my example here. So it's gonna go from dark all the way to white. Here's what I'm going to do though for that is on this one, I'm going to establish just how black I want it. I'm using a cross hatch here, and this is just a really common method for hatching. And I'm being very careful to go from one end to the other. And you can see my little wiggle with my pencil, nice control. So that's how dark I want it. And I might even make it darker by just adding a few more lines in there. Midway, however, between one of these, I only want it to be half as dark. And these will now form the guide for you in terms of now how much darker you're going to be here and how much lighter you're going to be here. So if I now just go, my grays are now going to be like this. You now have a sense of, okay, this guy's gotta be just that much darker, but not as dark as the one below. So just getting that nice gradual darkness. And I think now I could probably go a little bit lighter here or maybe even a little bit darker. But the idea of it is to end up with squares that are nicely gradated. And just keep going doing that. But this time, you'll do it on your good sheet. This paper responds very differently than your tracing paper. So when you have it all complete on here, I want you to take your fine liner, because it's nice and small, and just label very carefully. You can call this left hand. I'm using small letters. We can call this fine liner. We can call this one various leads. And this one we can call hatching. And there's your finished work, once it's complete, that is.